up now because uh, my sister's coming down with her GTI and we're going to try to put some AMG wheels on there and uh, we tried to do this last time but her lug bolts weren't long enough the stock Volkswagen lug bolts were not long enough to fit with the Mercedes AMG wheels so she ordered some new lug bolts and hopefully it's going to work out this time and then uh, we finish that I might just want to uh, do some welding on my mountain bike, which I cracked the frame on, and I want to do some mountain biking, so hopefully we can fix that too. It's a piece of shit Walmart bike, basically, but if this doesn't work, I'm going to maybe buy like a legit mountain bike. Yeah, so if anybody's wondering what a uh, Magnaflow muffler sounds on like, like on a V6 Ford Econo line, this is pretty much it. I'm filming. Something's not working when, like, like you'll hit the cruise control and like the fog lights won't work or something like that. You know what I mean? Like just dumb shit. <laughs> bolts. These are the old ones that were too short. Here, hold that. Seems they work. If anything, they might be too long. This whole lug bolt thing is a pain in the ass because Trying to line these things up and the holes don't line up. We can't put the door in.
should camper in a little bit when it goes down. So. Oh, yeah. Yes, bitch, yes. Looks good. Yeah. You've already seen it on this. So happy. You've already seen it, like, what it looks like on these cars before, right? Did you see a picture of the... Yes, but not this. these exact wheels. Powder coated, same wheels, but white. But I like this. And different color GTI. Have you ordered them for me because I don't have an eBay? No. Nope. I live on eBay. Missing one? Not three. Four. Yeah, there's only four. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> good thing you got a little eh, good thing. crazy that these wheels are like lighter than your stock ones. Yeah. Think it's gonna make that much of a difference? You might be able to feel it. Like I put wheels on that were a couple pounds heavier before and felt the difference. Like I had some wheels that were a little bit better looking but they were a little bit heavier. When I had my Maxima I put them on there and I could really feel the difference. And then I just put the stock wheels back on because I didn't, I didn't want to give up the uh, the power. Yeah. That's why I have RPF ones in the Miata. Because it's like the latest wheel I could get. You have power, <laughs> yeah, you have low horsepower, you need light wheels. I have low horsepower and heavy wheels, so. How much horsepower do you have? Probably like. 230, you think? I'd say like 230s have. Well. I'm on like 161. <laughs> it's okay. I'm, I'm, uh, I uh, swore at least three times at this point. So. <laughs> Stop fucking swearing. <laughs> oh shit. Now you need a stud extractor extractor. <laughs> a stud extractor extract a stud. Can you tell how much thread is like actually? Yeah, it's a lot. Okay. It's like five eighths or something. Okay. I, I looked at it. I popped one through the wheel when they were sitting over there. Okay, cool. There was a lot sticking out. I was worried that it might actually be too much. are fully seated. It might because be because the taper is a little different. Does it feel? Are they? They're not loose, right? 
They sit snug in there. So you can see if we're up against the hub. Yeah. No, I tighten the shit up. Man. They just they they put up a little resistance before they were fully tight. So. They're the same width as the stock, right? The stock ones. Yeah, they're, they're definitely the right thread. Right. It's just the hub, you know when you put the wheel on and the hub has to fit over the hub on the brake rotor? That hub is like a super snug fit, so. Okay. I just want to make sure that everything's pulled in. Fuck. Why is that so tight on there? That's what I'm saying, I want to strip it and be really fucked. I've literally never encountered anything that this impact gun could not take off. <laughs> this is like 1,200 foot-pounds. It's on... Break the socket. This three minutes, the, it's on like the most power? Yeah, or? three is maximum power. Oh my god. It's always an issue. No, it's not, but it occurred to me that it might be as I was grabbing yeah. it. <laughs> How does stuff like this even happen? Volkswagen. Das Auto. Maybe from it being literally four lugs on one side. You know what I mean? Maybe, yeah, I don't know. Because all of the pressure is now on this side. You know what I mean? There's, if there's, you know what I mean? I'm, that would make and sense. I'm just, I'm not used to dealing with uh, bolts, like lug bolts. Yeah. I'm used to dealing with nuts. Well, remember with the Jetta, they would, remember like a couple times with the Jetta, my lug bolts were falling out. They were getting loose and falling out. Happy twice. Come on. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> did I even put any? I don't know. I don't even know if I. That's the one you put WD forty on. I did put WD on this one. Or no, I'm saying you put it on this one. I put it on all of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can't believe that actually worked. So we do 40, man. Oh. All right. So we got one more. Come on. Take it easy. <laughs> it's okay, the entire bumper's cracked anyway, so it's whatever.
feel a little more positive. Usually I set this to number two, and I just go until it stops. And you know, number two on this gun is about the right amount of setting, okay. the right amount of torque for uh, lug bolts. Last but not least. <sighs> What'd you say? I said this worked out good today. Hey, you're missing a lot of their lug bolt. Jesus Christ. Fuck. Must be this side of the car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the most of part beside the ocean. <laughs> Shoes are ruined, whatever. We gotta run out of power before we can get these things out. No, we're still on full power. Alright. <laughs> right. WD3 coming through again. Alright, there's not enough. Four. Oh my god. I thought that was going to be a one time thing. Working it both ways. Jesus fucking Christ, it's like a bike. 100 foot pounds, this thing is smoking. Yeah. More WD-40. <laughs> Take a punch, uh, a pretty heavy hammer, and go right on the lug nut itself and just hit it in.
Oh, the coolers have not maxed out yet? Uh, well, that coiler was blown. The front Whoa. passenger side. Whoa. So. But that doesn't mean we can't go lower. <laughs> it's very true. <laughs> no. No, nah, that's a bad idea. Spoilers. These rub so bad already, so. We're gonna break something. Yeah, we're gonna break something. Like, this won't even fit over there. Oh, just need consistent. Impact is safer than, like, constant force. Yeah, it sure is. Um, maybe pulling. Maybe pulling straight up well. Let's test the strength of our backs and biceps. Start doing a burnout. Yeah, no. Um. Yeah. So you're gonna have to buy a new car. <laughs> <laughs> Just drive this one off a cliff. Um. I, I felt like I could have got it, but I felt like I just. I well, like you I feel like you could have got it, but you feel like it's gonna snap. I couldn't <laughs> tell whether or not I was moving Lugna or about to strip it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it felt like breaky. There's a very fine line. A very, very fine line. <laughs> Why don't we put this on the ground? Like. And then uh, you drive can burn the car out. and then <laughs> <laughs> give it everything you got. What does this thing rev to? Six, Maybe seven. like a 7,000 RPM clutch stone. What other options do we have? Like, I mean, what else can we do? You tried heat already? No. Heat? Yeah. The only thing that I heated was this impact gun. Yeah, it's really really <laughs> smoking. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, 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 not to insult your impact, but Hector owns like the god. Of all I'll try his impact like, on if it's out. I don't care. I feel like it's just gone. I just I'll be kind of butt hurt if his gets it and yeah. mine doesn't because <laughs> yeah, this is like the most expensive, nicest electric impact gun I could find. <laughs> and I think it's supposed to be rated for like a hundred more foot pounds. <laughs> yeah. Clearly, it's not working. Straight off the charger. Straight off the charger. Let's see what happens. Taking it out. Oh, that's what we need to do here. Yeah. Right. Exactly. I'm afraid to be butt hurt, Ryan. I hope so. I hope you're fucking butt hurt. See how like heavy it is? It's just. It's just the wow, butt's not hurting yet. <laughs> wow. Nah, this thing is for little girls. <laughs> I'm wondering if we're losing some power due to the fact that this is like a slot box, like. Pittsburgh non hardened impact socket and it just kind of like it's just wallowing it out probably. Pretty sure. I think our only other option in this shop is a 12 point, which I don't, I just don't want to go there yet. I think that, that 12 point should be our absolute last resort. No, nah, I don't think we should even think about that. <laughs> what? Using, Using a 12 point socket because it's just, it's going to strip. Is this the what you have? Yeah. These are six points. What is this? Why does it strip this is a seven, it? This is a half 17 right here. You see that? <laughs> just in there. Justin just must have been using that for his wheels. Look at that number really closely too to make sure it's a 17. What number? <laughs> yeah, look really close. It just says it. This is just a piece of pipe. <laughs> it says it right there. Oh yeah. You see it? Yeah, 17, it's like right? laser etch. <laughs> Alright. Oh. This could be it. That wasn't it. Did you just tighten it on here? <laughs> I tightened it to like break the socket off. Oh. Damn. Is your battery getting dead now? It's getting low, yeah. And it, I. So we stripped it. Now we gotta drill it out. This still sounds like it's getting. Oh shit. Dope. <laughs> Get your 
is very expensive. Actually, I have like three chargers, but I'm just being lazy. Full charge. Let's get it. No. Down. Did I spray you? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> this is such a shit show. Like, on both of our behalf. Yeah. <laughs> now, now my stud extractor is just really spinning inside of the stud. This is pure now, bullshit. I'm, I'm right now trying to drill all the way through a lug bolt. It's drilling pretty good. Smoking. I haven't killed the drill bit yet, so that's a plus. I might have to step this up a size, and my bigger size drill bit is kind of dull, so. I don't know. That's it, all the way through. Wow. Drilled all the way through that bitch. And then uh -oh. I can't get it up. <laughs> Alright. Shout out to Porter Cable Drill Bits. That thing held up good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try to drill it out. Alright, so. <laughs> we, we drilled through the head of the lug bolt and, uh. That's it right there. So that's one. We got one left. And it just fucking came out. I don't know how. That's the last one. This wheel should come off now. Oh my god. Now, get a look at this. This is what we gotta get out now. We had to drill that one out. I'm gonna finish drilling it out the rest of the way. I guess it doesn't work when you're taking a video. Oh, here we go. Shine it down. Can't see it with the glare, yeah. That one? Yep. So it's coming out, just with pliers. Extremely lucky on that. because I drilled the shit out of it. It's like shattered. It's like... That's not good. Is it in there or what? No, I think I drilled into the threads a little bit. Fuck. Yep. Oh, don't even tell me. It'll probably still thread in because it's not like completely fucked, but we'll find out. Apparently I didn't go completely straight in with it. Alright, so we got it on. We're getting this thing out of here now. She goes. That gold right in the garbage can? Hey, I'm a beast, bro. <laughs> I am the man. This is literally perfect. The blackness makes me I'm good really, at every I'm really sense impressed. Of that was fucking awesome. Possible. That was fucking I awesome. I took a socket and I threw it over my head and it just landed. Buckets. 
Congratulations. <laughs> All right. Were you trying to throw it away? Oh, so you weren't even trying to get it in the garbage? <laughs> Pull this thing out. We gotta see what this thing looks like. Keys in there, right? Yeah. Oh, we don't want to hit these wheels either. All right, it's getting dark out now, but I think we might actually have enough light to see. That took forever. This light is like too focused and too bright. It looks pretty good though. Let's hear some blow off noises. So let's hear some blow off. <laughs> All right. <laughs> aren't even wired? No. <laughs> no, they are. Well, there's no wires. There's, there's Maybe it's something. There's, there's some sound coming out of them. No, there's there's no way. Wait a minute. Is there a wire going to this one? No. There's literally nothing attached to this speaker. This probably wasn't even in here. Look. There's like nothing. These aren't, don't even... What kind of speakers are these? Um, the cardboard kind. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. These are like no names. Generic. Let me see if it shuts. Nice. Well, I got rid of one tire. I got rid of one wheel. Now I only have three wheels. Next is spark plugs, coilover. What kind of coilovers? <laughs> what? Oh yeah, oh, one now coil. I gotta contact Raceland and get a new coilover. All right. It's the Volkswagen way. You out? All right. <laughs> Next on the agenda is I gotta fix this piece of shit. Walmart bike. With a hairline fracture. Right. Yeah, I don't care. Right here. This has to get welded now. Because somehow I broke it. Laugh at my tactics. Yeah, it looks but clean. Mating surfaces are both now clean. Severely scored in 
gouged, but clean. Enough RTV will fix anything. Oh, get the broken stud. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how many studs go in this thing? Uh, like let's 10? count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I lost count. All Something right. like that. So there's Minus like eight one. total. So you got seven <laughs> yeah. out of eight ain't bad. <laughs> so there are ten. So we're going to have nine. And why, nine why was this thing, why did you take this thing apart? Just to weld it? Just to weld it, yeah. Now it's welded. Throw it back in. And hope it doesn't grenade. You know? Yeah. Yes, sir. The simple stuff. This would be an RX-8 motor and a, an FC RX-7 and a pile of wires <laughs> with an RX-8 dash. Don't tell anybody. You see me here first. <laughs> Stuff's happening. One day you're gonna Slowly. Have to, one day you're gonna have to feature me. Yeah. When you get this thing running. I'm supposed to have it running this weekend. Can I get that in writing, sir? We all know how that goes. I don't submit to you. It seems like this air compressor is not doing anything, so I should need a brake parts cleaner to remove any particles. I don't care. <laughs> not exactly wearing my best clothes. You're not wearing your dancing shoes? Well, yeah. I wonder if anyone had a break up to like steel. That's the normal way of obtaining brake parts yeah, cleaner. Just about how we do it here. <laughs> <laughs> Brick parts cleaner goes so fast. <laughs> you buy like 10 cans of it and you go to clean something and it's gone before you even get halfway through. Only because I come and steal your can. Glass cleaner? Same as brick parts cleaner? Not at all. No? I think glass cleaner is ammonia. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> That's not even mine. Have at it. The, half the shit on my table is not even mine. I don't even know where this stuff comes from. Oh no, it's got some juice in it. No, it's oh, it's so juicy. It's a little juicy. There you go. Do some degreaser. I like a little degreasing before greasing. Why are you degreasing that anyway? Well, because I can't find brake parts in there. <laughs> so, I mean, why are you cleaning it at all? <laughs> because I, I have metal shavings in both. From uh, the drilling and from the... I was going to say, that shit's about to get filled with oil. <laughs> uh, I'm just hoping that it'll catch any of my little particles and just leak them out. Yeah, whatever. I'm sure the gears will grind those yeah, particles I'm into pretty, a paste. Sure <laughs> as well as grinding the gears into a paste. Well, at the same time. Two birds at one stone. You can destroy all the metal shavings. Also destroy your death. Oh, I gotta fix this bike. Hopefully the welder dudes didn't go home yet. What time is it? Once again, I've been working so much I forgot to eat dinner and I'm hungry. <laughs> and this thing is ready to weld, hopefully.
cleaned up. You know that these, uh, Genesis motors, um, are only good for 300 horsepower? Before what? Before they explode. <laughs> oh, well, that's probably more than that's my Miata motor is good for. Well, that's way more than enough for me. Um, so what happens is, um, turbocharging them, the way that the irons are set up, they're different from the normal rotary motors where the ports are on the like uh, the rotor housing, like the base of it, they're on the irons on the actual sides of it. So like it doesn't get rid of the heat as well as, as other rotary motors do. Well and you're not gonna turbocharge it, right? Huh? You're not turboing it, right? You can do what I did and get water meth injection, right. and then when you're going hard, it'll cool down. That's true. Or I can just aim for less than 300 horsepower. <laughs> yeah. Going for high horsepower in a drift car is just a horrible idea. People probably, when they hear how low the horsepower is on my Miata, they probably laugh, but... The fact is that car will survive back-to-back eight-hour drift days where you're bouncing rev limiter all day long, and that's what I need it to do. Mm -hmm. I already have a piece of shit that's, you know, built to make too much power and blows up every time I drive it. I don't need two of those. <laughs> and you got people who have, like, freaking these really expensive and extensive two JZ builds, one JZ builds, RP builds, and, like, even SR20 builds. And their car is like literally inoperable, inoper in, inoper inoperable. Inoper yeah, I mean, fucking broken. Ninety percent of the time they own it. If I was gonna do an SR, I'd probably keep it pretty close to stock. Right. That's all you would need to do. I just want enough power to link the track, and anything after that is unnecessary risk. Right. Little in the bowl, why not? That'll ensure that when the main seal leaks, the oil won't come out the bowl. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, it's my hand. All right, I gotta go find out if these guys are over there to weld my bike. Right, you got a clear cup on that thing? Yeah. Does that just help you see while you're welding, or? Uh, yeah, it's just also huge. Could be better gas covers, I guess. Trying to find the optimal position. Yeah. I'll be amazed if this thing actually has a good ground through that anodization.
looks pretty good. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying, so it sinks in a little more. Yeah. As long as it doesn't break in half while I'm riding it, I don't care. It was getting to the point where I was afraid that it was going to just like, I was going to come down from doing a wheelie or something and it was just going to flop out on me. Yeah, it's not like threaded in or anything, you just... I grabbed it with some channel locks before and it was twisting, so... much that holds this thing together. Just the clamp on the handlebars. All right, so the bike is a bike again, and it's getting late, but here's the weld. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of bright as hell in here, but that crack is welded up nice, and I will be able to ride this shitty mountain bike with my friends who have nice mountain bikes now. So... That's a wrap. I'm out of here.